Hi everyone, it's Finola Howard and this is Ask Finola How, episode 44. And this week's real question from a real entrepreneur is, and it's really appropriate because I'm sitting here in my camper van just at the very beginning of my holidays and I didn't get everything done that I wanted to get done before I left. So this, and I'm what I've left to do is actually record four of these episodes so that I can have momentum for all of you when I'm gone, okay? So, appropriately enough, I'm doing this while I'm on holidays. And this is that question, okay? I can't stop thinking about my business when I'm on my holidays. How do you switch off completely and stop worrying about your business while you're taking a break? So, perfect that I didn't get to take my break yet. Well, I did, kind of. I've already started. But what I want to share with you is this because this is the most, the best example, I think, of answering that question. First, the first thing I would say to you is a bit of a lead in from last week's session. And it is first start by planning to have the break. And this is comprised of a couple of different things. And we discussed this last week. We said, either choose to get a complete break and put it out on social media, that you're stopping all social media, you're not taking client meetings, you're not doing anything, or choose to plan for it, batch stuff, bring your team and get them involved and all of that so that you keep the momentum going while you're gone. Now, I did a lot of that stuff. So I planned to take, to keep the momentum going, to make sure that I would keep my Ask Finola house in place and do all of that. But I didn't get everything done before I left, okay? So, you know, I made a deal with myself that I needed to make sure that there was momentum in all the things that we were doing, that there was. The podcast would be released, which it did get released yesterday. It's today, Tuesday. Tuesday, they're normally released and it was released. My lovely uh, colleague, Megan, is making sure that that happens. I pre-recorded all the podcasts, enough that would be done before I left. And the thing, there was a couple of things missing, a couple of client things missing, and also the recordings of these videos. So what I decided to do was actually take a morning out and I talked to my family about this and they were okay with me doing this because they knew it was important and I decided to batch create them from the camper van. So you're getting me in the camper van while Sean and Kevin are gone to the pool and they've given me half an hour to get these done <laughs> and then I'll join them in the pool and then I will be able to switch off. So here are my thoughts for you, right? Plan for the break like we just discussed. Make a deal with what you're willing and not willing to do while you're on holidays. And that allows you to switch off. When you start thinking like this. Now, when I first started planning the holiday, I was going to do so much. I was going to do some writing. I wanted to catch up on my blogs. I wanted to do all of that stuff. But when I actually sat down and realized, what will that take? So while it sounds really good on paper that sure, I love to write, which I do, but this is not a break. So figure out what you're willing to do and what what you are willing to do and your family is happy for you to do while you're gone and decide get clarity on whether that's doable or not because when I started to list all the things that I could do in the mornings before everyone got up was I decided it wasn't worth it so when you plan do this planning session of what you're willing to do while you're on holiday and what you're not willing to do you will find that when you see it in black and white, things change. Your perception about what are you willing to do actually changes because you see the reality of it. So it actually made me reach out and ask Megan to do a little bit more for me, Lenka to do a little bit more for me, Brent to do a little bit more for me. And I felt better leaving. And it means that when I didn't get everything done, which I didn't, I needed another half an hour, 40 minutes to record these. And that was okay to negotiate with my family that it's okay that I can take these extra 30 minutes because I had negotiated everything else beforehand and I'd planned it. So that's my first thing. Take two weeks before you take your holidays and plan what you're willing to do. And be clear with all of your clients what you're willing to do and what you're not willing to do. And allow yourself to schedule out stuff to happen when you get back. And that's also a very powerful thing to have things to do when you get back. OK, so that's my first thing for you. My second thing, as I look at my notes, OK, oh, yeah, this is the thing that I wanted to say to you. Breaking with the everyday leaves space for new thinking. 
and when you want to create a successful business where you have to make significant changes at key points in the growth of the business, your brain needs to think differently. And the only way of thinking differently is to switch it off from its everyday reality. And holidays are the perfect time to switch off from the everyday reality. It allows your brain to rest, allows you to see life and the world in a different way, allows you to listen to other voices around you, your family, your friends. Just joking around in a swimming pool can just give your brain that rest it needs to start thinking in a new way. So you need that switch off. It's part of your the ingredients for success. So embrace it, okay? Also, I kind of want to say to you, being a workaholic is not my definition of success. You know, and I've seen, you know, that question always has to be asked is, what is it that you want out of the business and what are you willing to do to make it happen? And my definition of success is about harmony, balance, whatever way you want to call it. But I am many things to many people in my life. So I am something to my clients. I'm something to the participants on Get Strategic. I'm something to my son. I'm something to Kevin. I'm something to all of these people. And I want those parts of myself to be fulfilled in all parts of it. They're part of my own success equation. So my work life is not my only life. It's part of my life. So the switch off and switching on to the other parts of yourself and the other parts of your life are really, really critical here. And for me, that's my definition of success. I want to be in the moment in every part that I play and role that I play in my own life. And so switching off is that idea of compartmentalization of knowing who you are in that moment and being fully present in that moment for that role, for that part of yourself that you love, you know? I mean, I love being a mother, I love being a partner, I love being an entrepreneur, I love being a female entrepreneur. And I have to give adequate time to each. That's my definition of success. So it's, what's yours? That's my question. Set intention, my last one for you, because I want this to be quick, because I want to go to the pool so I can actually switch off. Set intention to switch off and it will happen. Make it your intention. I consciously did that this year. It, I may have had a blip in it that means that I have to do these things now, but the rest of my month's holidays will be around what I agreed with myself that I would do. So set the intention. I'll also share this with you. I am taking a couple of client meetings while I'm away because they are on a, 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 an agreed trajectory and I didn't want to leave them waiting for a month before they got to talk to me. So that was it within my own commitment to myself and my commitment to my clients. And that's okay too. But the rest of the time, that's mine. And because I set those boundaries and that I'm very clear about what I expected of myself and was very clear with my clients of what was going to happen in this period, it will work smoothly. And I will feel happy going into the pool now, switching off until my next event, which is in two weeks time. So have a great day and have a great holiday. I really hope you enjoy it. It's so important because I'm going to be ready for action when I get back in a month, and I hope you are too. This has been Ask Fanola How, and this has been episode 44, and it was all about holiday prep and switching off. Have a great day. Take care, and I'll see you next week. And yes, it will be recording. Take care.